and you are tuning into the channel with the Golden Perspective. Today I wanted to go and, uh, you know, while we're waiting for some final word on Bitcoin, I wanted to take a moment to uh, look back in time. And, uh, you know, this isn't the longest uh, chart here with Bitfinex, but I wanted to look back in time and look at some of the behaviors that... Uh, Bitcoin has uh, performed over time. And uh, before we get into that, I want to kindly invite you to subscribe down below if you have not already. Thank you everybody who has. Uh, please, um, while you're down there, be sure to turn on the post notification so you know when the next video is coming up. And uh, also come uh, like, dislike, uh, leave a comment. My only request is that you please be civil in your discourse. Uh, kindness and compassion are absolutely free and if we all executed them, I think we could make the world a better place. So, uh, oh, and also come follow me over on Library. And if you don't know about Library, it's, uh, it's definitely a, um, a better place than YouTube as far as how content creators are respected and treated uh come check it out links down below in the description and let's get into it so what we have here <clears throat> is this uh channel which is a simple channel that uh bitcoin has fallen in between it's you know it's touched it you know, we got two major times over here on top, so that's what pretty much uh, drew it off of, um, because this one hit first, <clears throat> second down the first on the bottom, second at the top, and then down here. Okay, so it there's something to be uh, to be said about this. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Now, if we uh, we follow this forward, and we're looking at the logarithmic chart, okay. That way we can see the time history a lot more. Uh, you know, something I often do here is, uh, let's see, where is, okay. Um, we grab here to, oh, it's okay. This thing back to erratic. Okay, right there. And, you know, what I did, uh oh, okay. Is, you see how, like, that's that whole price action? And I like to come where let's grab it again and place this right down here <clears throat> now you know of course not everything is going to be the same but we look for similarities we look for confluence uh and we started off pretty much the same but then we sort of take off a lot more so that's what tells me that this journey is a lot it's a lot it's early it's a lot sooner than than we had expected before okay so uh, I just want to keep that in mind and I'll leave this up here a little bit I might move it over but let's uh we'll just set some points here you know you know if we come up and touch the top of this we're talking about close to a five hundred thousand dollar half a million dollar Bitcoin here that would be fantastic right um, and you know, just looking at a couple points here, this midline here, uh, which we've already crossed, you know, kind of early, you know, had us at 75, which is a number a lot of people are throwing out there as uh, next target, <clears throat> 72, 75. Now, I would agree um, as, as an upside target once we get through uh, everything else here. <clears throat> well, let's take that off now. Oops. Something else I want to bring up, and we're looking at the weekly chart just so we can fit all this in, is uh, we're throwing us up, put up some moving averages here. We look at things over time. Now this is showing we have the 21 day as the yellow, the 100 day, and the 200. So now it's 21 week, 100 week, 200 week, okay? And it looks like you know what's going on here is that we're, we're coming back to probably look at testing this uh, 21 week now and this is not a scary a scary thing okay it comes up to the top of this like what do we have what else do we have 
in the past nothing, right? Because Bitcoin's never gotten this far uh, in, in the past history. This is the most recent history of this price action. And uh, let's see, you know, how has the 21 week been respected throughout this? Now, in if we're calling this <clears throat> the end of the last bear market, which was the big COVID crash, okay? Um, you know, this was, well, I guess this would really be the end of the last bear market. This was the first wave trying to come up. This was it, you know, testing it back down and it held its strength. You know, it within that time, it really bounced back up because there was a lot of previous uh, support built throughout this time period. <clears throat> And we continued back up. Now, when we did, we as soon as we crossed above that 21 week moving average, we moved up and we came back and we hit it once. Now, if this is a second touch, okay, fine. Let's go back in time and, uh, and, and check to see how this is done. Now, even if you wanted to consider this, we still moved up and even if you want to consider this a, a touch and a poke through um, when we when we zoom out you know that's probably fine that's not that's not a big deal in fact we see something like that happen over here coming up back down through okay so we could or could not call this a touch but let's not for now let's just say this is one and if we come up here this would be number two now, everything over here, <clears throat> this here is the last, uh, you know, 20K and the end of 2017. So if we come in and analyze how many times since it broke out of this, so we came back here, we could call this one and two. Let's even just say this is one, okay? And then two, three, four, five almost six okay and then it went on the blow off top so if you think about that okay um and and this this one doesn't really have that same kind of action but you know we could even you know we could try and uh let's say load a oops make a new chart here <clears throat> and bring up the BLX which has the oldest um, amount of data uh, where are we okay Oops. loading 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 okay here we go and we oh I don't have this okay so let's put on a uh, moving average and let's, uh, you know, change it to the 21 so we get the same thing. Let's just uh, even make it uh, this so we can see it better. Okay, let's go back in time. We're going to logarithmically look at it. Um, okay, this is where we looked at it before. We, we looked at these one two three four five six touches and then on the seventh one it broke through and stayed down below okay so let's go back to this cycle okay so that would be inside of this range right there we got one two three you know where it kind of poked through Four, yeah, so on the fourth one, we have a four, <clears throat> and then a six. Now, do we have anything before that? It's gonna be tough because, you know, the moving average didn't have time to catch up yet, but it looks like we had a, you know, like maybe if you were to back this up, like this would have been maybe similar to like a first touch, and then a two, and then three, so we went three, four and then six right let's come back over here now <clears throat> and stay within the uh the last trend so you almost see that what we've seen so far is that the number of touches 
uh, has increased in each cycle as it keeps testing it through. Now, uh, if this is only potentially the second touch, then we got, you know, we got a big road ahead of us. So uh, I would just keep that in mind because when we keep seeing these big corporations trying to come into Bitcoin, for the most part, they know there's a calculated amount of Bitcoin per day coming into the market <clears throat> based off of uh, the block reward, 900 a day about, if we stick with 10 minute blocks. The rest of that has to come from those who already have it. And often they may look at the Bitcoin in your wallet as if it's just theirs and they're wondering how it got in your wallet. Kind of like the United States considered the oil in the Middle East. You know, how did our oil get under their land? How did my Bitcoin get into your wallet? I need to get it back. So they're going to do everything they can to create scares at times, use the media outlets to shake, you know, shake your confidence, shake you out of your position. Um, so, you know, unless you are really solid at this, don't trade more than, you know, you know, maximum, if you're really good, I'd say like 20% of your portfolio, but you know, like 10%, I, I don't even trade it. I'm just going to hold this thing, you know, the little bit that I have. And because uh, that little bit coming back up to, uh, you know, we do uh, this exercise again. Where's the tool? Oh, here we go. Oh, wrong one. Back here. place that down here and we look at a you know July of 2020 2023 you know we could even push it out uh, when is the next um, having I got a chart here outlining that we have it somewhere in February of 24 okay um, and so if you consider, uh, consider the amount of time, <clears throat> I really like this chart. It's uh, something I created. It, it has all the halvings, you know, uh, with a vertical line going through it. If you consider uh, all this, typically, correction period is longer than the bullish period. It happens within the first one third, maybe even, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like about one third from the eyes. So we look at this and we look about the one third. So, you know, we could be, we could be early. We could be, you know, around to, uh, you know, the end of 2021, early 2022, this would be the halfway point. Um, so I will keep watching this and oh, what happened here? Oh, I did not need to move to move that down there. Okay, back to this chart. <laughs> I'll keep my eye open on on how this is uh, is hitting because logarithmically this is not uh, I mean let, let's even look at uh, what kind of price rise we had from top to top 
And if we were to take this same Okay, so let's do it. <laughs> let's just grab the percentage because it doesn't like this. Um, so like 1500%, right? So let's take that. You know, these are just tools to estimate. And let's grab 1500%. Uh, oh, right about there. This is even lower, 326, okay? I feel like this is all of Ichibu. So be smart with uh, what you're doing out there and have patience. All right, everybody, I love you. Take care, follow me on the library and I will see you around, peace.